Hi, betting experts. On Thursday, May the 25th, we're off to Haydock on Thursday. A really competitive and interesting midweek card with reasonable prize money on offer. The ground currently on the faster side are good. The weather forecast set fair. Always just keep an eye on Haydock. They're not shy of putting water on, but hopefully it'll be proper fast summer ground. We start off with our betting expert daily nap, sponsored by Bet365. This runs in the 3.30. This is the Racing to School Handicap, a six furlong class four for three-year-olds only. £6,500 to the winner. Some interesting runners, but none more so than James Ferguson's progressive Beasley Bug. Now, this one has run five times in his career so far. Two tries on the turf where he's yet to shine, but his two wins on the all-weather at a reasonable level. He made a winning handicap debut at Newcastle in April when very heavily supported after 116 days off under today's jockey Daniel Muscat. Value for a lot more than his head-winning margin in a race that's worked out really well. He was again strong in the market at Yarn in a very strong race for the track on soft ground at the end of April. He missed the break there, which didn't help. Made up the ground to get into third, second, two furlongs out. Looked a danger, but just weakened inside the final 100 yards or so, basically shaping as though one who's going to need fast ground on the turf. He's certainly a lot better than a mark of 79 suggests. There should be loads more improvement in the tank for his excellent yard that's going particularly well. And I think he might prove a class above these rivals with conditions to suit our betting expert value angle selection sponsored by bet365 runs in the four o'clock this is the sand batch handicap a five furlong class four for four-year-olds and upwards again six and a half thousand pounds the winner and i think that ed walker's rum cocktail should take plenty of beating with the yard flying at the moment they've had five winners in the last 14 days ed walker nudging 20 percent strike rate and safi osborne is riding really well as well she's had four winners now this filly has run 11 times in her career two wins 10 of those runs came for Clive Cox both of her wins were on good or faster that's what she needs I think she's potentially very well handicapped from a mark of 79 she was competitive for Clive Cox in the mid 80s at one point and I think the sort of horse that uh, Ed Walker will do particularly well with she was easy to back after 224 days off from making her stable debut at the start of May at Ascot and she ran a blinder to finish third of 11 behind Spoof keeping on quite strongly in the closing stages this faster ground should definitely suit her 22 days later should be plenty of time to recover and I think she should take plenty of beating here under Safi Osborne best of luck on Thursday betting experts and please remember to like and comment on all of our YouTube videos Mm -hmm.